When it comes to airplanes, how close to hitting a bridge is too close? And I ask that from the bridge builder's perspective, okay? not from the plane passenger perspective. They can take their first class tickets and shove them up their arse sideways. But I'm thinking maybe our bridge doesn't want to yield. Maybe we play things a little close. <laughs> oh my god! I'm the Tony Stark of dangerous infrastructure! What's up guys, welcome back to Polybridge 2, uh, the only game where you can spend taxpayer dollars to make a 300 pound man named Bubba do infinite backflips in his lube truck, yet call it a bridge. And the real funny part is by the end of this, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if this was the easiest, safest, most practical thing that I had made today. We'll begin with a level called Leverage, where it seems like the Monopoly Man is a little bit too distracted with exploiting the working class to realize that his final destination is like within fart whiffing distance behind him. And we've also got a dump truck that somehow found itself on a dead end dock, feet above water, but feet underground. What are you willing to bet his resume was written in crayon? Oh, and they also have to deal with plane traffic, because why wouldn't they? At a quick glance, it almost feels like they want me to build a bridge. Or like a bridge bridge, not a bridge. Which would be simple enough for the dump truck. All we'd have to do is a little something like this, and then just shore it up with some triangles, and he'll be well on his way to... Uh, another dead end. Listen, okay, I'm a bridge builder, not a dump truck biologist. I don't need to understand why they choose these habitats. Go figure the simple guy working nine to five isn't the problem here though. No, it's Mr. Moneybags. Like I would just have him do something like this, avoiding plane traffic like a peasant, but he doesn't want any part of that. He absolutely demands to go through the path of the plane. Like, that's a decision that confuses me probably as much as it confuses his chauffeur. Wait, I don't even have hydraulics to move him out of the way. Or more specifically, move the bridge out of the way. I mean, he can go get hit by a bus for all I care, but I don't want my bridge to break. Uh, I'm on a bit of a safety streak. So how about we try something like this? I'm gonna get real close to the plane, which could be seen as a mistake or pure engineering genius. It depends who you ask. But I'm also gonna have the center part of the bridge disconnected. We could have it suspended from the two slinkies that were given. I mean the springs that were given, not slinkies. Slinkies are trademarked and copyrighted and I'm pretty sure if I use children's toy to make infrastructure then I would have the ethics committee on my ass again. But if we use the springs, then it should be upright when the plane flies by, but the weight of the Monopoly Man should lower things down enough for him to get his checkpoint? Maybe? Could support them like this? Upward inflection is, as always, what you want when designing a bridge. This is gonna have to be real close, like uncomfortably close, because I need him to be able to get just the tip of the star. I think that the plane won't strike things yet. Now, you're not gonna have any problems with... Why did I make every part of the bridge out of metal except the part that has to support the dump truck? Wow, I really did cheap out there, didn't I? And for absolutely no good reason, I had nearly $40,000 left over. I mean, other than the fact that I get to embezzle a little bit off to the side, but that being said, I, I should actually turn on stress so that we can see how beautiful and green my bridge is. Like I said, absolutely no problems with you. It's a straight line, it's a simple bridge. He's not gonna fall in the water. Twice. Now for Mr. Moneybags. Oh. Uh, this bridge might actually have a bit of an oversight, and that wasn't what I was just thinking. How do you not have enough torque in that Oldsmobile to get up over a hill like that? Like, what happens when you're just driving around town? Honestly, you can't pay to constantly be going downhill. 
I don't know why I'm spending my time trying to change the angle of that on-ramp, because in all reality, it doesn't make any difference. Even if he could manage to get out and push this absolute pile of garbage up the hill, it wouldn't matter. I was so busy thinking about how we would get down to the star that I never questioned how we're gonna get back up the other side. The whole swing is gonna lower down, but he's not gonna suddenly get lighter. So, we might have to go back to the drawing board. Oh, god damn it! So, in all reality, we have no choice in the matter. Like, the bridge absolutely has to look like this! And, like, I don't want to see a single comment from you guys saying that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I am a bridge building professional. I'd be willing to bet good money that there isn't a chapter on planes in bridge building school. When it comes to airplanes, how close to hitting a bridge is too close? And I ask that from the bridge builder's perspective, not from the plane passenger perspective. They can take their first class tickets and shove them up their arse sideways. But I'm thinking maybe our bridge doesn't want to yield. Maybe we play things a little close. <laughs> oh my god! I'm the Tony Stark of dangerous infrastructure. Please, please don't dummy the rest of my bridge. I, I, I know I've made a whole lot of jokes about you being slow, both physically and mentally, but you've got a fabulous dumper. There we go. I don't think we were even close to 50% stress. Now, so long as the jalopy can jump the gap, easy. I, I, I can't believe that worked. I genuinely can't believe that worked. I thought it would just be funny to see if the bridge could barely clip through or if this was even possible, but... Oh, I never even took into account the fact that he was going to have to turn around. Of course he was. The, the, the end point was behind him. <laughs> wow. 68.6% .6 stress. 0.4% off being funny, but... I'm not used to seeing numbers below 99.8. Can we get a slow motion action replay on that? Like, I'm not contesting the result, but I have a hard time believing that nothing clipped. Okay, so the propeller doesn't count, and I'm glad for that, but... <laughs> yeah, that is a thing of beauty. Next up, we have a level called Truck Way In, where once again, we've got a truck that's decided to live its best life above water, for now, but below ground. We've also got other heavy equipment that just wants to cross the river. You wouldn't think that'd be a big deal for a bridge builder, until you realize that there's a fighter jet doing a strafing run on a riverboat. How about we try a bit of an introspective exercise this time? Like, if I was a bridge, I would personally try to avoid conflict at all costs. So maybe we can just go up and over the boat? And then go up and over the plane? Have two individual bridges because they don't need to cross paths. C1 and C2 are going up, A2 is going down, so... This should be fine. Well, I've already learned one embarrassing lesson from a slightly waterlogged dump truck this episode, so I won't cheap out. But this top bridge won't be made of wood. We'll make it out of metal. Except I'm already 2% over budget, and it's clearly just gonna fall apart. Never mind the bottom bridge. For the record, I have absolutely no faith in this working, but you gotta try all your avenues. It's like I keep saying, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette, or break a few bridges to drown a bubba. I swear to God, plan A is like the perforated hole on the side of a box of Kraft Dinner. No, it's always there, but it never friggin' works! So, like, what's the point? We're, we're moving on to plan B, and in this case, again, I'm gonna avoid the boat-plane traffic, I don't wanna screw with that, but we'll avoid it with only one bridge, because I can evidently only afford one bridge, but we're gonna move it. So hopefully we'll be able to have the A truck move up and over, not a problem the way things are. Then the right side of the bridge will lift and connect here, allowing the C trucks to go where A truck is now, and then up this little tiny secondary ramp to their flags. 
Does that make sense? It's going to be easier said than done. I can guarantee that much. I love how the hydraulics in this game give you no reasonable way of knowing how much they're going to contract or expand. I mean, like, yeah, they do straight up tell you, but what does negative 42% contraction even mean? It'd be like saying, oh yeah, it's 69.420 potatoes worth of contraction, and you just gotta trial and error it. You gotta drown a couple of these idiots to see whether or not it's gonna work. It might work, it might not work. Hopefully the bridge doesn't fall apart. I don't even want to turn on stress, okay? I'm stressed enough as it is. If it gets across, that's all that I care about. It didn't get hit by the boat. That's good. The plane didn't bomb us. Oh, I, I didn't make it disconnect. So it just kind of tore itself apart. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I feel that bridge. As much as this game makes me want to build a perfect triangle to seppuku myself with, I, I think we're just going to disconnect and run it again. <laughs> Made it across. That's a good start. And like I said, didn't get hit by any of the boat plane traffic. So you got to look at the bright side of things. <laughs> now, Please raise the perfect amount. I don't know what the perfect amount is, so long as you, oh, mm, no, that's not it. That's, that's definitely not the perfect amount. Wow, that tractor had a whole lot of push to it. It crumpled my shitty bridge. Oh my God. This, this is actually drives me insane. I know a lot of you guys don't really understand or maybe believe how long these videos take and how many fails I edit out, but I'm at two hours. I haven't even beaten two levels yet. After some more rigorous trial and error, I think I finally have the hydraulics dialed in. The bottom of this river probably looks like a Tonka graveyard, but I realized that I also need to do some disconnect points like this. And then hopefully that means that it will not only disconnect, but reconnect if you line it up just right, because it's not enough to just get up there. You need to have a, a solid grab hold of land. <laughs> please, please connect, please connect. Yes, the flash, the flash of yellow is what we want. I'm not turning stress on. I refuse. I don't care where the weak parts are. You either make it or you don't make it. There is no try. That's what Yoda always said, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, things are looking good. We don't have an underwater dump truck. Oh, and they actually got up the ramp. I wasn't sure if they were going to have enough torque for that. Come on, get that fat ass up there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. No, not like this. <laughs> That. Wait, wait, no, no, I was about to quit. No, I was never about to quit. I knew it was gonna work the whole time. I was totally zooming in to show you guys that, not to make a stupid joke. That, that's it, that's the win. I'm moving on, I'm washing my hands of this entire situation. There's something about a level being called spring and a miss that makes my butthole pucker. We've got ourselves a bit of a traffic jam over here on the left side's edge of a cliff, and they know exactly where they want to go, but probably not how to get there, and I would imagine I need to sort things out without hydraulics. I just don't understand the thought process of the supervisor that keeps sending me out here. It's like, oh yeah, the hydraulics may be on back order, but uh, these people got to cross the river. You know, time is money, so get out there, build a bridge, use the slinkies. Uh, don't call them slinkies, otherwise the lawyers will have our ass. <laughs> and everything will work out fine, eventually. I mean, it is a pretty simple concept for a bridge, though. I really need to stop saying that. I always regret it in about an hour realizing that I jinxed myself. But if we did something like that and then supported it with the uh, slinkies, springs, I mean, something like that, then car A and B should be able to get across no problem because they're light. But then the hippie van should lower it down enough for it and D to get below? You think different building materials have different weights? Like, would an all steel bridge weigh more than an all wood bridge? I know this isn't the kind of thing that you would want to hear an engineer ask out loud before trying out the bridge that he just designed, but you guys are the ones who were in a rush, not me. 
<laughs> I was willing to wait for the hydraulics, but you can enjoy the absolutely perfect backflip. You were so close you could taste it. Don't worry, sir. I'm sure the scuffs on that roof will buff right out. The bridge, however, is pretty foobar. We're on the right path. Okay, we just need some little tweaks. Spread things out a little bit. We need triangles. See those reverse upside down diamond triangles? Come on, get there. There we go. Knew we had it the whole time. Flawless. Now, you should be able to do the exact same thing, right? Did you have breakfast? The guy in front had breakfast this morning. Hopefully you... Oh, he's just gonna gun it. Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> now, for the heavy hippies. You should just lower things down. Wait, where's the other car? Oh, you're not going at the same time. And you're not heavy enough. So... Oh, that really throws a wrench into things. So there was absolutely no way for that last design to work. I had assumed the vehicles were gonna go at the same time. No, A and B would go, they would get to the top because they're lighter. C and D would go because C is heavier, it would lower the bridge and allow D to sneak through. But because they go one at a time, even if C was heavy enough to lower the bridge and get to the lower portion, it would just spring back up and then D would go to the top with A and B. So it just doesn't make any sense which means we're gonna have to try a bit of a locking mechanism. This isn't something that I've built before. I've built bridges like the last one before. This is gonna be very different. It's gonna start off looking very similar in the hope that we can get up the ramp. Okay, good. Now again, B, if anything, you should do a better job because you seem to go a touch faster. But then I'm hoping once the van hits, this moving part of the bridge is gonna snap down and the springs are gonna go from pushing to pulling. Rather than supporting from underneath, it's gonna pull and kind of act like a rope from above, right? Oh, oh yes, yes, that's perfect. Just like that, except we broke the bridge. I can't have the bridge break. I, I, I need a, a non-breaking bridge. That works. That actually works. I can't believe that worked on the first try. Oh my God. So if I can make it stronger somehow, then we're in the clear. What if we added a bit of an off ramp for the van? Because the bridge didn't break because it fell. It broke because it fell and then the van landed on it. And even then, it only snapped a little bit. So if we could catch the weight of the van by doing something like this, I got a whole bunch of money, so yeah, that looks pretty good, right? That might be able to catch it. Okay, let's, let's speed things up. Don't have all day. We know that you guys are gonna make it no problem. I haven't changed anything up there. Then again, this game is about as accurate as tabs. Come on, got this. One up, and then enable the switch and get cut. It broke so much more of the bridge. How? How? How did that happen? I don't understand. I, I guess we distributed all of the crash weight throughout the main bridge rather than the moving part. Okay, try again. I've readjusted the catch ramp a little bit to hopefully get it a little bit further up. The less time it spends falling, the better. And then I could try shoring things up over here as well. A little something like this. Okay, not that sure, but uh, that might be enough. Like I could try getting rid of some of the reinforced road, but it feels really important. <laughs> okay, so get you guys across. You're not the troublemaker. This is the big guy that's the troublemaker. I also changed the tip of that ramp just a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this game hate me? Go get across the bridge before I change my mind because I am so tempted to just delete the bridge and let them sail off into the water a couple of times. It had served them right. Now. Where is this breaking? Let's slow it way down. We're gonna CSI Miami. This. Uh, I don't know. We might need to call in Gil Grissom because I did not spot any evidence there. It just all collapsed. <laughs> I mean, it's working if, if you ignore the crumplage. 
But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Polybridge 2. Guys, I can only sit here in silence and pain for so long. Like, I should have known it'd be the hippie van that would break me. It was only a matter of time, but I really do think that I could beat this level. At, at some point, it's only a matter of time. And the problem with recording a video is that you don't have infinite time. A lot of people are wondering, why does Captain Sauce not upload every day anymore? It's so strange, where's today's video? Well, it's because I'll spend like eight hours recording Polybridge, and then before you know it, every sane person has gone to bed and I haven't even started editing, but. If you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return with a solution so that we can move on next time. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.